Welcome back to another Black Clover reaction. Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Black Clover episode 72 titled Saint Elmo's Fire. Last time we watched Black Clover, episode was pretty cool. Getting to really know Marilena, seeing her hype up Noel, tell her about her mother. Also see Asta looking like he's having a hard time at this volcano because he has no magic so he can't make that mana skin so he's struggling compared to everyone else. But because Asta never gives up and that's his superpower, he's going to do his goddamn all to try to push all the way through and I can't wait to see how he does it he is the biggest disadvantage here out of everyone else and i'm excited to see what comes because mary elena is already seeming like a pretty cool character and i've heard that she's the best girl so i can't wait to see what happens next so with that let's jump into the reaction part of this video but don't forget to stick around to the end where we do a review breakdown part as well back to the volcano <laughs> oh poor Asta. You gotta you can't let Yuno show you up, dude. You gotta keep going. Ooh, flash back to the demon mode. Oh, is he gonna actually try to use it? <laughs> Asta's head explodes when he thinks too hard. <laughs> you can go home after all. <laughs> I suggest you keep struggling. Struggle, 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 and eventually you might be able to do it. You unconsciously did it. I, I thought, uh, I thought the... The witch queen had a little bit of a little bit uh, way of doing that. No, don't jump into the lava, Asa. That's stupid. <laughs> Yo, bro is about to jump into some lava. Okay. Stay calm at all times. Yes, remember Fuegoleon's words of wisdom. <laughs> I'm stupid. Who, who doesn't know himself? I forgot you said that. So, what can you do, Asta? What can you do? What can you comprehend the power you have? Let's see. Anti magic sword. Don't magic powers. Okay, that was pretty badass. He's in the middle of thinking, just breaks the rock behind him. Cool. Ooh, key detection on myself. I'll find more about my power. That that's some thinking, Asta. There you go. It's got a little bit of thinking right there. Ooh, as well as something black flowing in my body. Ooh, he's starting to learn. Okay, because we know the anti-magic flows through his body, so let's see if he can start to detect it more. Uh, brought about a change? Oh, he actually brought it open! Okay, I wasn't expecting him to actually use the power. Sweet! <laughs> Ooh, lava monsters, okay. A Borula. Thing's pretty cool looking. Oh, this is where Asha comes with anti magic. Perfect, right? <laughs> and here comes Asta. <laughs> okay. I did call that, but I didn't think he was going to do it that way. <laughs> Black Asta. <laughs> oh, he's catching up to you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because he's like a magic detector. He's going towards the strongest mana, which is you know. <laughs> so I guess it's not you know. It's actually the lava. <laughs> You're not gonna help him. No need. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. It's headed toward the fierce magic of Marilina. I see. That makes a lot more sense. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, he just gets decked. He needs to learn how to control that music, uh, that mana, so it doesn't just track everyone and try to take him out. <laughs> face is punched in. There we go. He's got to get even stronger to pass the exam. He's just got to learn how to control it so he's not just haywire tracking the strongest person in the room. <laughs> Leo, I'll climb it one more time. <laughs> okay so after the volcano at night or in the day at night it's hot springs cool magical regions are some weird places that's pretty cool and it's great to see that also is actually able to make it up with everyone else before the sunset <laughs> <laughs> Belle, little jealousy there. <laughs> Charlotte's just, uh, oh, she's uh, a little nervous here. <laughs> I'm assuming Soul is just gonna jump right in. Oh. Never mind. They made a wall. Wait, there's more women? I thought there was like three of them. Where the I, I thought all of the all I thought all the Crimson Lions there were all men. Except, except for Marilina. <laughs> no, because if Charlotte has one drink, she'll she'll be drunk. <laughs> Belle is in the woman's side of the bath, of course. Belle, I, I'm surprised Belle listened. <laughs> I mean overrun by men I feel like it's, it's almost 50 50 right now this at least what four women I mean there are more men that does make sense but still Yo, Charlotte just wants to see Yami. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's funny when we see the younger characters doing this, but to see, like, one of the, the captains doing this is just a whole nother level. <laughs> and Belle. <laughs> just dead after one sip. I mean, she is, like, this big, so it does make sense. Oh, Marilina is seeing her mother in her. It's actually really nice to see Noelle kind of learn more about her mom. <laughs> Talking about really good things about her mother, Noelle, not able to control anything, can't believe she's royalty, just all these little things. Oh! This is why you must surpass her? Good. I get it, Marilina is the best, best woman. Right here, motivating Noelle. You know, the Vermilions have been doing a great job at motivating Mer uh, them, uh, at motivating Noelle recently. Just saying. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> it's getting hotter because of Leo. <laughs> he's not trying to act cool, he just hates losing. <laughs> of course, Yami is the one to initiate this. Of course, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gets to experience the full Yami's wrath. <laughs> oh my god, he did it too. Of course he did. <laughs> my brother would never look. <laughs> I love how Yami's like, you're gonna surpass them. He's just always like to everyone, you have to surpass them. You don't need to be like them, be different. <laughs> this is a battle. <laughs> Yami being the one to get them all to peep. The battle is about to begin. They're all gonna get smacked around, aren't they? <laughs> Soul just made it bigger. You tell me there's not a single person on that squad that can use any kind of earth magic. <laughs> Yami's just laughing at all of them. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised uh, Yami hasn't picked him up and chucked him yet. <laughs> well, that was it. Hot, hot spring training arc. Done. Asa's is not going to climb the wall because he's he's only he only has eyes for Sister Lily, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, I I was honestly I love how Yami just accepted it. He wasn't going to be just grab him and chuck him. He just he just calmly accepted it. Oh god, that was a fun episode. Yeah, pretty cool. Hot Spring part was a lot of fun. That was just like the fun part of it. And uh, yeah, I guess another mini arc before the next arc. So good times. But yeah, before we jump into the review breakdown part of this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And it'll help you stay up to date with all my Black Clover reactions, plus all my other ones and my Marvel and DC stuff. And with that, Let's jump into the part of, let's jump into the review breakdown part of this video. That episode was a lot of fun. I really liked how Asta had to learn more about himself and look within. And I really like how he's so just, he was thinking back to how he has unlocked his demon before. And he's like, yeah, I can just jump into this lava. It was a life or death situation. That's why it appeared. Not the fact that the Queen of Witches was manipulating him to turn him into the demon at that time. But uh, at least he didn't jump into the lava. Except I do like how he kind of realized, oh, I must think within. And he puts his key towards himself to sense what his body's like. Seeing the black energy that flows within him and unlocking his demon mode. And that's cool because I was questioning, you know, last arc. W will he be able to do this on command? Will he learn how to control this? And in a sense... He kind of did. He was able to pull it out, but it still took control over him and directed him towards the strongest magic presence, which I found hilarious. He flew through the lava monster and then just went straight to Marilina and she just decked him into the wall. She, uh, she brought him to her and then she knocked him down, congratulating him for looking within himself, unlocking a new power and getting better in the long run. And it's also cool to see that now that you know has seen what Asta can do. So seeing the new power to the showing his new power off to Leo and, you know, Great moment. And the hot springs part was a lot of fun as well. Mostly because, you know, just had fun moments during it. Charlotte fawning over Yami, thinking about him. Belle 
on the girl side as well, taking a sip of alcohol, passing out in the water, and then having all the guys trying to sneak a peek, and it's all instigated by Yami. Like, the fact that Yami was the one that did it is hilarious, and I love how both Yuno and Asta just had no interest in doing it, because Asta only has eyes for Sister Lily, and you know, it's just not into that kind of stuff. So it's funny to see the two types. It was also fun to see Yami interact with Yuno, because Yuno's very, like, dead silence, like, this is what I'm doing kind of moments, where Yami's very serious, and he fits better with Asta, and I wonder if Yuno's just thinking, like, shit, is this a more serious Asta with me? While he's being held by the head by Yami. Like, oh, that was fun. I really like seeing that. And just great to see the characters interact and put him in new positions that they haven't been in before. But the part that was probably the best part out of the Hot Springs section was Marulina telling Noelle about her mom. The only person that told her about anything about her mother struck saying that her mother was the one that showed her the hot springs. She used to train with her a lot. Marilena was undefeated on the battlefield, but could never beat Noelle's mother, showing how strong she was and that she danced around on the battlefield. She was a strong woman and really showing what kind of warrior Noelle's mom was, but also kind of poking fun at Noelle, the fact that she can't control her magic. It's a surprise that she's a royal, but learning that she's a spitting image of her mother, kind of showing that maybe that's also why some of her family resents her is because all, when they look at Noelle, they see their mom and who died after childbirth. So it kind of, it shows that there is resentment there because they see their mom in Noelle, but because Noelle has not as strong as her and who isn't good with her magic, it's kind of like maybe in their eyes, it's more of like a disgrace where if Noelle was strong with her magic and she was able to control everything and be perfect, then they wouldn't be as cruel as they are now. Except I do love that Marilena was saying that, you know, even though because Noelle is the opposite of her mom when it comes to all her magic and everything else, that's why she has to surpass her and do it with all her own strength. Showing that Noelle has to rise above it all, be better, and prove to everyone that she is worth being there and that, that she can be like her mom and better. So it, it's like, it's such a good moment seeing how Marilena is pushing these characters forward. And I'm really hoping I'm saying her name right. But it's really great to see her pushing this character forward. I love her introduction. I understand why everyone's saying she is the best woman around. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of her and how she progresses through the story with our characters and what's going to be happening next because we are going to be going into that Royal Knights exam. So let me know what you thought about this episode, what you thought about the moments during it, and let me know what your favorite moment was from this episode. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you next week when we watch another episode of Black Clover. Bye.